we are at Scarefest in, in Lexington, Kentucky, and I've got director John Russo, and he's going to uh, uh, be uh, talking to us for a few minutes. Mr. Russo, what do you have going at the moment? Well, I, I always have a lot of things going. I'm always writing things. I just finished a screenplay. We're raising money to do my movie Midnight as I want to do a remake of that movie because it's become a cult favorite. So I'm working on that. I'm working on several projects with Russ Streiner and George Romero. And we, we're back together working on things. And of course, we three worked on Night of the Living Dead, who are the key people behind that movie. So it's really nice to be uh, involved in some projects with Russ and George again. And one of the things I'm always busy with and have been for about five years now is uh, running my movie making program at Du Bois Business College in Pennsylvania. And we, Russ Steiner and I are the co-directors of the program. And it's an 18-month fully accredited course with transferable credits. And the students are doing great work. They won awards in the 48-hour film project five years in a row, different classes, five different classes. They learn how to do everything from TV commercials on up. They do TV commercials, they do music videos, documentaries, they do, uh, they learn how to make feature films, they do short features as part of the program, and they learn all the business aspects of the movie business, and they're just really good sensational work. Very cool. Um... Uh, how uh, how long is that program again? It's, a, it's an 18 month program. It's six six 12 week terms. So it takes a year and a half from start to finish. And uh, as I said, you learn everything from TV commercial production on up. Our whole thrust is that we try to teach the students what they need to know to actually get out and get a job or start their own company or get their own project financed and make their own documentary or a feature film. Writing, producing, directing, camera work, lighting, sound, editing, the whole thing. They, they uh, all learn Final Cut Pro, which is standard in the business now. Have any of your students gone on to uh, be uh, work on anything that uh, is in current production or currently in the theaters? Well, uh, quite a few of our students are out in the industry and they've uh, gotten jobs or they've produced their own movies and they're still doing that. We have uh, students who have formed companies to do wedding videos or any other kind of, kind of video that people will pay for. We have some students that even while they're, well, we have some students right now that are, uh, in addition to going to school, they, they've done projects that have resulted in them getting hired by restaurants or or bowling alleys or bars or whatever to make commercials or sales films or industrial films and they're getting paid for that stuff even before they graduate. Very cool. Have you um, have you any words that uh, might be of interest? Uh, can you do you have a story or something you could tell me that um, would just be a, a really good close for our interview? Maybe um, from uh, one of your movies. Well, I can't summarize a, a movie in the space of an interview. Oh no, I wasn't uh, asking that. But uh, I, I, an interesting. I can tell you that the script I just finished is a, a zombie comedy. I cool. Mean, it's really funny. It's called Talk Half a Zombie. Uh, well, Hell Week breaks loose in the frat house of the living dead, and it is funny and scary at the same time. And it even makes me laugh when I reread parts of it. <laughs> so George uh, Romero is going to be involved with that. Uh, Strider and myself. Excellent. And I have. Uh, I'm on Facebook, and you can go to Hurricane Film Partners, which we have set up an office in West Virginia, and we've met with a film office down there, and we're setting up to do three movies. I can tell you that the, uh, one of the movies in the Midnight Remake, uh, the, the rock band Guar is going to be the peer of that movie, and not just to do music, they're going to act in the movie too. We Excellent. We become friends with those guys after meeting them in New York when we were on the same television station together. 
So we can have a lot of fun and I'm looking forward to doing that. We have projects involving, I think Kane Hodder is going to be part of this Midnight remake. Uh, possibly Tony Todd, we haven't really firmed things up with Tony yet. And Serena Vincent and Christina Cleave. We still have to talk with Christina, but we're good friends and I think she'll come on board with that project. Very cool. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you.